This is my only end. Oh shit! Yeah, you hoes going broke now. Your hoes about to go broke. That's it. That's that's it. That's it. So I keep telling y'all hoes, man, y'all time is up. They ban that OnlyFans shit. I keep telling y'all. Now TikTok next. Y'all hoes can't sell that shit. You sell your body no more. You know, while your kid in the room, pay your rent with the bills and shit. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. I, t I keep telling y'all, man. Y'all niggas gotta listen. They time is up. That's it. They about to ban OnlyFans. I ban that dope shit. Ban that raunchy shit, you know. All that, that, that lap dance, webcam dance shit. They gonna ban all that shit. And what the fuck you hoes gonna do then? Man. Hey, Shalom, Akim, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory honor is due to Yahweh Bashimi, Yahweh Shai Bashimra Kakudash, double honors unto the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that rule well and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And it wasn't a gospel, but I lift up the standard of Yahweh Bashimi, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. This is the Akia Mahalaya coming back with a lesson through the spirit, real quick. This is the guy by the name of Jay Migtow. <laughs> you funny dude, man. <laughs> He be getting on you women, but uh, real quick, um, basically they're banning the OnlyFans content. Okay, so that for you women, man, you can't get an easy measly buck buck being a bunch of you know whores. Now, um, I found some information. Uh, this is from the Los Angeles. What is this from the Los Angeles? Uh, Haggisons. And um, they kind of brought out some information, and um, I haven't really had a chance to cross reference it, but this is a pretty legitimate article, because usually um, when you look up the Apple News and stuff, it's pretty legitimate. But um, it says it's OnlyFans really running away from away from porn, and it says not so fast. So you know they had a big uproar on Twitter about this whole ordeal. They had a big uproar about it, and women were going crazy. And you have to ask yourself, like, wow. This culture has really uh, uh, hyperly sexualized the feminine mindset, all right? Women, usually being modest in the ancient world, will look down on shit like this. Now women are blatantly mad because their, their uh, 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 how can I say it? Their access to being whores are being cut off. And it's mainly because they're not going to be able to get these beta male simps to make a million dollars in 24 hours like they used to. So I believe that they're going to still allow certain content, but they're going to gradually take it away because you women have literally been, you've been milking this society with wickedness, man. Okay. And it's time for the most high to bring it to an end. All right. So a lot of them was pissed off because now a lot of these so-called high dollar prostitutes, these high value whores, a lot of them ain't even really, you know, most of them ain't even high dollar, man. But see, it's you fucking simps. That's the problem. You know, you simps are the problem. Okay, you pay these women and you 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 conceptualize in their in their in their behavior. You allow their mindset and their pride and their confidence to be reached out the moon. So therefore a little hood rat that works at KFC up the block can charge a nigga a thousand dollars for some feet pit. Now I like feet as much as the next man do, you know, nice pretty feet or hands, but I'm not gonna pay for that shit. Period. It's not gonna happen. You can forget about it. You know what I'm saying? I like breasts just as uh, much as the next man. But I'm not finna pay for no damn breasts, man. I mean, if I'm gonna buy a harlot, then okay. So be it. But you dudes are paying top dollar just to see pictures. And this chick will never give you a time of day. You see her in public, she's just gonna ignore you and curve you. But yet, her girlfriends, she's gonna give all the attention to. And she's gonna go after the more... How can I say more masculine beta males, the ones that appear to be masculine, like these little Uzi birds, which he's not masculine anyway. But, you know, guys like that's in the industry. They that's who they say themselves for. While you 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 Pee Wee Herman type cats and you Steve Urkel cats are sitting behind a computer, you know, beating off to some to some goddamn some some breasts, man. You know, and hey, men are very sexually deprived in this society. 
I mean, that's just what it is. Esau has incorporated uh, and engineered a, a, a platform of porn which hypersexualizes your mind. It causes you to be desensitized, man. And really, porn is another way of, of uh, population control to a degree because usually, and I looked it up, a lot of men have what they call PED, porn induced erectile dysfunction. So technically, he's not getting aroused unless he's looking at like porn because he's totally programmed his mind to uh, to be attracted to that. So connecting with a real woman, it, you, you can't do it unless it's just something about her vibe. All right. Because like I said, men are very sexually deprived in this society. All right. Like men, they supposed to have more than one woman. So they can be straight, you know what I'm saying? Because when you have a woman or, or a polygamy, you know what I'm saying? It's like a business. Say, for instance, if your wife, your your first wife is tired and she's, you know, she's on a rag or whatever, then she's supposed to teach the other women on what to do to please you. But the women has been so twisted in this society to make them think that it's all about them and their reasoning. OK, and that's totally opposite because um, monogamy brings forth death. OK, death. Because the world was started through polygamy. That's why you have over 8 billion people. A monogamous relationship is really not healthy because after a while, you know, y'all grow irritated. You grow, you know, I mean, you could keep the spark there, but it's, it's a lot of mental fortitude to keep that relationship up and up because she starts getting tired. You get tired. You know, she, you, you see the same thing. It's just men as men, we're programmed different. And oftentimes we have to tell our women that uh, let's just say if a man go out there and deal with another woman, it's not because he doesn't love his wife. That's far from it. But women don't understand that because they have been engrafted in a, a selfish nature to think that, well, it's about me. You belong to me. But if a woman has a child by another man, you have to accept that child. Why can't she accept you having another woman? You see what I'm saying? It is in this society it's not practical. But anyway, it says OnlyFans, the popular subscription based content company known for providing direct to consumer porn that creators can charge for, caused a major ruckus last week after announcing that it would no longer allow sexually explicit conduct on its app. It says the fire up, uh, it says fired up adult film stars and amateur creators quickly took to Twitter to announce the company's stunning decision, but now it seems the upward may be premature. So basically, man, these women went on Twitter and they lost their mind because they can't be a whore. They can't charge and get over on people and rob people for certain content. Like I said, man, you got these Barbie doll busted chicks, man, little hood rats, you know, with the blemishes. They wear a, a shitload of makeup, eyelashes, got this pink hair, these long fingernails and stuff like that. And they're charging top dollar for nothing. But yet these are the same chicks that this nigga Brody, that nigga Brody said, because I got a bald head. That nigga Brody is getting the box for free while you niggas are sitting up here spending all your little McDonald's Walmart money, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you're going to buy a prostitute, let her be worth it. Because that box that you women are putting that price on today, that shit is getting ready to be diminished, man. You finna be literally selling box for a bottle of water in the coming days. No nigga finna up no cash on you. You finna literally be serving box for, for food and water and shelter. Okay? That's why Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to big play. Hey, look, women, they going to come through the necessity of needing to survive. They going to need that. You see what I'm saying? And the men and the Lord are going to be able to provide them with that safety and comfort or that safety and that protection while they're providing us with comfort. You know? So that's how it works. But... For the most part, like it out there in Venezuela, man, these high dollar nurses, these fine, these nurses, man, these doctors and lawyers, they're now selling box for, for nothing for free. They're literally enticing men, going up to men, uh, 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 asking them, hey, man, can you pay this and this and this and that just to get a bite to eat? So all this pride and bullshit is getting ready to be dropped, man. All right. So it says effective October 1st, OnlyFans will prohibit the post of any content containing sexually explicit conduct, meaning, you know, you women showing, because you got porno sites for that. But women has took it a step further. They showing their breasts, they twerking, and it's mainly, you know, it's the black woman. She's the catalyst behind it, but it's all the nations of women. But nonetheless, these women have openly displayed their whoredom with no shame. There's no shame, you know? And it says, and the company declared in a surprise post on Twitter on Thursday, it says creators will continue to be allowed to post content containing nudity as long as it's consistent with our acceptable use policy. But eventually, this is going to do away with it. It says, 
uh, the reversal inflamed many of the site's X-rated content creators who felt used and discarded by the company. <laughs> How do you think the simps feel? How do you think men that spend all their money on you feel when you discard them? You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to charge a nigga $100 for an ass shot and this goofy pays it. No, it's not going to happen, Jack. You know, get you a woman, man. And it says the reverse, it says here, who felt used and discarded by the company. It says, while many creators have always been able to upload all kinds of content, many established adult film stars lent early legitimacy and publicity to OnlyFans with their only pornographic channels. Now those sex workers are feeling left in the lurch as OnlyFans shifts to more family-friendly fare. Good. Good. Straight up, man. That's good, man. The most high is going to put the hammer down on you women. You women has been proud. You've been living off the hall. You've been getting over men. You've been destroying men's life. Okay? You women are getting ready to be destroyed. And believe it or not, bro, you'd be surprised. All these women out, they have a price, man. Majority, they have a price. You know what I'm saying? They have a price. You know, and some women, you know, they may not charge you, you know, to do what you do with them because they might gravitate towards your spirit. But at the end of the day, it's always a catch to it. Even your own main woman you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying? You get that. You still paying for that shit because <laughs> you got to take her out, spend the time with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Playing video games with her, <laughs> etc. But anyway, it says here. Uh, let's go down. It says one possible explanation of OnlyFans modest terms may be simply self-preservation. It says, according to some reports, the company has serious trouble finding investors. And it says it was pressured into cleaning up its act by banking partners and payout providers. Launched in 2016, OnlyFans was launched for enabling sex workers to safely earn a living without a middleman. But yeah, you buy a prostitute, they'll lock you up. It says the website blew up in 2020 when actress Bella Thorne earned $1 million in 24 hours after creating her channel. She too went and angered sex worker on her platforms by not uploading any four new photos despite her promises. She's also pissed off a lot of dudes who demanded refund <laughs> for not getting to see any TNA. <laughs> you know what that means. But the app's popularity really exploded during a pandemic when much of the world sat inside, glued to their phones without human contact, man. So, hey, man, I can't wait till the most I shut this shit down. Here you make a million dollars in 24 hours. I mean, you set for life. The hell, you, you what more money you need? You should be good. You take that money and do what you got to do it. You know, but that's the nature of these women. These women are wicked. All right? These women are wicked as all hell. Uh, finish uploading that. I thought I did that. Give me one second, man. So, um, that's the spirit. I was looking up where to go. Matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do real quick. I looked up some of the scriptures last night. And uh, looked up Sirach 26 in the, in the New Living Translation version. This is what, this is, this is what, this is what we got, man. Check this out. This is in the Bible, bro. And look, this is the book of, where the hell is it at? Sirach. Give me one second, brothers, because, man, the brother bought this out, and this is in the Bible. You guys, you brothers getting ready to be surprised at this. Uh, where the fuck is it at? Excuse my French. Here we go. This is the book of Sirach 26. And I'm going to start at 24. It says, a shameless wife enjoys making a disgrace of herself. But a modest wife will act modestly even along with her husband. A self-willed woman is a bitch. <laughs> this is in the Bible. So all you women out there, you can't call me bitch. You get mad because we exposing your character, man. Okay? Versus you women, you just use it as a title. No. It says here, woman is a bitch, but a woman with a sense of decency honors the Lord. So if you don't honor the Lord, you's a bitch. And guess what? This is in the Bible. The word bitch is in the Bible, which means a female dog. You see what I'm saying? For all you women out there, man, that get in your feelings, the scriptures just said it. So and that's a cold cut. That's beautiful, man. So this is the book of Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters, and give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, you careless women. 
for the vintage to fail and the gathering should not come. So OnlyFans is getting ready to go. Eventually, when the system collapses, child support, a lot of men are going to start targeting you women due to the hell you've put on them. Like women have totally destroyed men's lives. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to just make this about bashing or beating up on them. But the truth is the truth. This OnlyFans content has put these women in a whole different light of pride. That's why the scriptures say the haughty and the terrible should be bought to naught. Okay, the pride of the, of the haughty and the terror. These women are proud, man. You know, and, and they're selling box. Like, that's honestly the pr prostitution is the oldest profession around. And we understand that women do it. But oftentimes, when women were well off and they were righteous, they didn't have to resort to prostitution. Prostitution was when you burnt all your bridges, you were a demon, and you had no way nobody wanted to take you in. So women often became whores and they wore certain veils to say, well, look, I'm a prostitute. That's the last thing that a woman in an ancient world would have one have done was being a prostitute. No white willingly wants to be a prostitute. You see what I'm saying? But nowadays, women glorify that fucking behavior. Okay, which I don't understand it, you know, but hey, that's Esau Edom. It says, many days and years should you be troubled, you careless women, for the vengeance of fail, OnlyFans, child support, uh, what do you call it, uh, food stamps. Because Biden did a food stamp increase. By, I think 25%, man, but it's going to work against you because all the money they're bringing in the economy is going to make inflation go up. And that's the reason why they did that, because they know the little money you're getting ain't going to be able to buy nothing. So the trick to it is you got to get Vanessa in order to get that. And most of you going to do it. And it says, for the vintage shall fail and the gathering should not come. It says, trouble ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you, make you bare, and grow sackcloth upon your loins. For they should lament for the teats, which the teats of the breast, okay, like breast milk, like the breast, and for the pleasant fields and the fruitful vine. And upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. Okay, so, hey, the mirth, all this shit is getting ready to be shut down, man. Period. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hold up. Terrible. Hold team. Uh, let me see. Yep, the earth mourned and faded away. The language faded, and the haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay, and uh, I want to. It says, "Bring low the terrible." I think that's in uh, Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Isaiah. Uh, Thirteen, eleven. It says, and I will punish the world for the evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So call Hello Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders, the apostles, a great millstone, blessings and salutations to the whole full elect. And with that, Shalom and a